All right, guys. Uh, so from this is a continuation from the previous video. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on from the DXY. We seem to have uh, found a little support here down in the uh, 88.90 range. So um, we're just gonna break down the time frame, see what the reversal is looking like. It could be a clean reversal. This may look like a double bottom down here. And uh, still looking to see if we get a break of previous structure highs. Now it's important to identify where the pre previous structure highs were so that uh, you can understand if this is going to make a clean reversal or not. All right. So uh, let's go have a look at the major majors uh, against the DXY. And uh, from there, we'll be able to uh, see if we can predict some potential market trade for the week ahead. Um, all right, so first we're jumping into gold. Uh, gold's looking pretty clean right now. Shows its anomaly state um, or anomaly price range is fully active and fully uh, 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 and is definitely full of sellers uh, this range up here so um, typically I would have a short position at the break of the range and run the short down um, but today I have positions open in the major equity so we'll just hang out and watch this for later in the week and see what we get but um, it's looking pretty um, detailed and pretty self-explanatory um, where the reversal was. This is exactly why it's drawn the way it is. Um, so where is price likely to go next? All right. So we rolled off here. We're probably going to get a little bump out of this range out here. Maybe it'll pull back up retest structure before it finds the next uh, level of support. Could look something like that. Um, this is definitely a resistance here um, that is illustrated here. This rejection. So ideally, this box isn't exactly exact, which I typically like it to be. So let's raise it up a little bit. That's where the actual price is. So it should look like that. Why? Because of the double top. Um, <clears throat> it looks like we've already broken through that first layer of structure. So the next support will be here. Why? Structure leaves clues. Okay, follow along, follow along, follow along, please. All right, so um, price will probably push back up into the bottom of this structure here before it will break uh, break lower here there's some support here this whole little layer this whole little region here has some clusters in it which is a which will cause some um, some um, some funny move some funny movements there's a lot of cluster price um, in this area so it's not going to be a smooth way down that's for sure. It's definitely going to have some, some bumps and, and blimps and do some funny things before it starts to roll. But it is definitely taking shape. It is definitely an, an a, a anomaly price. And um, the market is acting just in that way. So um, there were some good shorts up here at 1360s uh, that I'm sure people took. So um, definitely would be a good trade. It's gonna be, It'll probably be a rough trade, but it's definitely a good trade. So uh, let's see. Um, now we're coming back to the DXY. Uh, why? Because there's still some more fundamentals that um, that are going to take place for the DXY. Um, I think there is still more downside. So um, so that gold, that possible gold trade, might be a uh, counter trend trading opportunity. It all depends on what's the DXY looking like. I think there is more downside as well. There is a potential of reaching this 87, 87, 80s range. Um, 
and then before the strong support at the 84 cent range this is going to be a strong support here um, okay why is that a strong support because we have these uh, attempts of price here that were once resistance um, that shows that this price range um, will contain some uh, some uh, some tough activity to break below so um, and then here is the previous price range for the support that we're being held up on right now currently so um, that's what we're looking at for the DXY. I think we're going to pull back to the 87, 87 range. It just, it just seems to make more sense. I think there's some more downside in it. Um, and if we break below the 87, 87 range, then we know for sure we're going to probably roll to the 84 cent range. Um, and um, we might have a little bump here, but definitely the 84 cent range. So, and, and that's going to send gold prior to 1400, no doubt. Let's see here. So, let's go back to the gold chart. Let's have a look. That might continue a bullish continuation. So, it could pull back to 1324 and, and go bull again. You know, exactly what it's, what it, um, what it's describing it could get hung, hung up here at 1340 in global um, it's it, it's on a it's on a little trend here no doubt about it you can see it more detailed on the four hour but as you can see in the anomaly in the anomaly price range the, we had a break of a trend line it's pretty clear to see so this is why I have a feeling that there is some short some shorting that's going to go on up until about 1324 